Man. Hello and welcome back. Today's video is more so about what's been going on with the early hammer manipulation. I'm sure there's a lot of you in the past who've probably stumbled upon my stream and kind of checked out early hammer and didn't really think I was getting it all that often. It was kind of jank. And uh, to be honest, I was actually getting it kind of random. There was, there was some times where it like worked out perfectly and you could see that it worked out perfectly. But then there's other times where it didn't work out perfectly and I would still get it. And it all had to do with that last video that I posted about left bros and right bros and lag frames. But why is this breaking Mario 3, you say? Ever since we created the early hammer manipulation, it's been like at least four years since we've known about it. Even Summoning Salt mentioned early hammer manipulation in his SMB3 warpless video. So it has been around for a long time, but why have you seen nobody else do it? And again, that goes back to what we talked about earlier, about how it kind of sucked. I mean, in theory, on paper it worked. We gave it to Taskbot. Taskbot played along with the original copy and everything. It worked, it didn't desync. Then I played through and I managed to get it to work, so we, we tested all avenues, but it just wasn't convincing enough. Now, if you have watched my streams, which you should every day in the morning, you will see that I sometimes at least get three to five early hammers every day. That might not seem like a lot. It's like, well, you stream like five or six hours, that's not too much, but if I didn't go for early hammer manipulation, it would probably take me all day to get maybe two one death early hammers. I'll never get a zero death early hammer. I'll probably get a one death or a three death. I'll get a post two three, which is nothing in comparison to the zero death early hammer manipulation. What's even more exciting on top of all of this is that I've had multiple runners come to me asking, oh, what what uh, FM2 file, what task video do you use? What Lewis script do you use? Oh, what do you do here? Um, how do you work your score here? We have runners like uh, Narfman, we have runners Zikubi, and even Teeks, uh, asked me um, what kind of stuff I use and if he could have some of my resources. It's getting pretty insane, but what breaks Mario 3 behind the early hammer? All these runners are actually interested now. It took people four years and actually, you know, laying down properly how to do early hammer for people to get the interest to be like, you know what, I think I can do that. When they see me get it three or four, four times a day, I mean, I think a lot of the other Mario 3 runners will be able to start getting early hammer just as much as me. And I think we're gonna see a lot more low 50 minute times, if not maybe more than one 49 minute time in Mario 3 Warpless. That's right. The 49 minute time was sought out to be impossible. You'll never get that. I mean, quoting Karua right here, I swear to God he said, I mean, I said it too, but a 49 just is, is not in the cards. A lot of people ask, can you get a 49 without early hammer? Yes. Yes, you can. How can you do it? Door three, Jesus glip. You probably want three off screen wand grabs. You want no extra hammer brothers, no hands, all the clips to work first try, including seven, nine. Uh, you might want to do an overkill in the fortress and Bowser's basement. All that stuff will probably help your cause. But if you do all that, you can most likely get the 49. Oh, I've noticed you've checked out my shirt right here. Isn't it pretty cool? This shirt was given to me by Into the AM. Into the AM is a clothing company that I am partnered with. And if you go to the description below and you click on the link, you can actually get a discount on shirts like these. Let me show you. Yeah, if you click on the link and you come to intotheam.com, you're greeted by really, really nice advertising here with new graphic tees, reveal new designs. Yeah, so if you click on bestsellers, you're greeted here. You can get a custom tee pack, three tees for $60, which is pretty good. That's $20 a shirt. I mean, you can't complain. Plus my discount. Don't forget about my discount. And let me uh, let me show you what kind of shirts I have. I, got, I have this shirt. Love this shirt. I actually have two of them. I have this shirt as well right here. Ooh, this one's cool with the octopus in the barrel. I have the TV. The Melting TV, I got the, ooh, man, I love this one right here. That one's really good. Uh, I also have this shirt, I like this shirt. They got hats, if you're into the hats. Very, very nice, and again, all discounts through me. Ooh, this is my favorite one. The Spaceman Growing in the Grass, I freaking love that one. And if that's not enough, you can actually join a t-shirt club where you get $14.95 a month, you sign up, you get a different shirt every month, which I think is pretty cool. It's very exciting to get things every, every month in the mail and you don't know what you're gonna get. And yeah, I think that's really cool. And if that's too much for you guys, we got the basic tees. I know there's a lot of people out there who like to have the basic stuff. I even have a bunch of their basic stuff, so. Yeah, ooh, they even got underwear. So if you really like cool t-shirts like these, like into the AM, I know I do, and it's like really hard to find cool designs these days, make sure to go to the description below, click on the link, get some discounts, and enjoy your new clothes. Thank you. We have 
an amazing runner, Zikabi, interested in early hammer manipulation. And if we start seeing a lot more runners get low 50s and potentially multiple 49s, yeah, I would say early hammer manipulation is definitely breaking Warpless. Breaking it wide open because I never thought I was going to for sure get a 49 and I'm still not on pace for 49. The run you actually saw in my intro was pretty close to a 49 minute pace had I get non no hands, but I did mess up the end of World 7, which sucks. And early hammer manipulation just gives you so much opportunity to get these low times. It's going to put Warpless at a halt. Once about 10 runners use early hammer manipulation, they get the run that they think they're comfortable with. It's going to be a lot less likely for people to break those runs unless they do early hammer manipulation. You can still beat the world record without early hammer manipulation right now. It's going to be very hard, but it's still possible. We're not at that breaking point yet, but Mario 3 is about to break. And we're going to have at least top 5, top 4, top 3 runners in a position where you can't beat them unless you do early hammer manipulation. And one of the other things that I'm super excited for with breaking Warpless with this is that somebody has a really, really good chance of beating my record right now. I still have a hand in it. So they, they just have to get early hammer manipulation, get all the things to go right, which I mean, I know that's a lot, but get no hands and they have a 20 second leeway so they can make 19 seconds of mistakes, get no hands, beat my, run, beat my world record by a second, it's very possible. But we definitely want the 49 minute time. Mario 3 has seen so many transitions in what's viable and what's not. And honestly, at this point, I'm extremely worried that something's gonna be found. Something else has to break. The game's gotta break, and then something in the game has to break. Because I would love to see like a, a menu manipulation, item duping that's like legit without using ACE, maybe breaking the map in like one spot. I mean, maybe a great place to do the spade card glitch game. For those of you who don't know what that is, check it out on my YouTube as well. There's a spade card glitch that you can spawn a spade card on a level and you can skip the whole level entirely. You go into the spade card game, you get a couple fire flowers, you're in there anyway, so you might as well get them. Then when you exit the spade card game, the level's completed and you cross it. That's a great place for a level that you cloud over, you save a cloud as well. I mean, it's, it's incredible. We can't use any of that stuff right now. Uh, there's no extra clouds we can get. There's no extra hammers. It's it's really really tough um, But this early hammer manipulation seems like it's getting a lot of traction So all of you out there watching this video getting information on this You should be very excited in the next coming weeks and months about what's going down with Mario 3 I'm so happy I was able to have time to share with you guys an update on what's been going on in Mario 3 I am currently probably going to get the 69th early hammer manipulation tomorrow and just to put it in context in the past two weeks i've gotten about 68 of them some days there was two days where i got five in each day so that's 10 early hammers in two days i'm embarrassed i don't have the record yet you're right you're all thinking it doesn't even have the record i thought early hammer was helping him i'm trying i'm trying okay but i stream every morning about 7 30 mountain time that's about 9 30 eastern you should check it out uh, I posted on my Instagram, Twitter, I post on my community board and all that stuff. Um, but I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned something about what's been going on and I hope you're excited that other runners are actually picking up early hammer manipulations. So you guys take it easy. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, subscribe and comment below what you think is going to happen with Warpless and if you even like early hammer manipulation. Yeah, look at that. Thank you. Finally. Express your opinion. You're allowed to talk about it. So I want to hear about it. Thank you guys all for watching and enjoy the rest of your day. Whee!